Hey, Pastor Ryan here with our MC Youth Weekly Update. This is time for us to catch up on all the things happening this week in MC Youth and also a recap of what happened last week. So last week, we continued in part two of our anthem series. And although we didn't have a teaching time, we modeled what the teaching was going to be for that particular week, which was worshiping as God's family. We went to Uncle Julio's restaurant and fellowshiped and connected and friends brought friends. And it was a really, really great time just to be God's family. And really, that's an important aspect of what it means when we worship together. We don't just come to worship on Sunday morning because we have to or because we're obligated or we want to fill a room. It's because we worship as God's family people as God's family together. And even when we invite people to worship on Sunday morning, maybe sometimes for the, the first time, we're not just inviting people into an experience, which indeed it is, but we're inviting people into a family experience, a worshiping family experience that's really special. And so here these words uh, from the Apostle Paul to his uh, people in the Colossian church. He wrote this letter to them, and these are just really uh, encouraging words. He says this, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And so this anthem series we're in where we're looking at uh, different ways to worship and different aspects of worship, uh, it's just really great to know that we can worship together as God's family. Actually, it reminded me, um, I was thinking about this morning, when the people, or the Hebrew people, were freed from their slavery in Egypt, and God was freeing them, and Moses was leading them out. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but go back and read that story in Exodus, and God over and over again is saying, you're going to free these people to worship me in the wilderness. And so even that, that story that we always look at as liberation and freedom, it has a purpose to it, to worship God. It's just something to go check out for yourself. I always found that fascinating. So with that said, this week we are in part three of our anthem series, and we are looking at worshiping with all creation. Now, in one of your free, uh, previous publications, we said that we were going to be going to Independence Grove, uh, but we're changing that up a little bit because I got an activity that I want to do here. And so we're going to be meeting here at the church, normal time, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Uh, but we are going to be spending some time outdoors doing a photo scavenger hunt. Um, and we're going to do some really cool stuff with that. So we're not going to Independence Grove. We're going to be here at the church, normal time, 6.30 to 8. Uh, we'll have some pizza and drinks and stuff in the, the youth room area. Uh, but it's going to be a great time, and uh, I'm really excited. So invite friends, bring some friends, bring your phone uh, so you can take some pictures, and we're going to interact with those. But it is indeed going to be a great time. So look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow night. God bless you.